Hello, I'm Carolyn and this video will be part two in showing some of the great uses of freehand drawing in the pre-release version of Inkscape 0.47. I am using a Windows Vista operating system and it may look different if you're using a different operating system. In my previous video, I showed a lot of different things you can do with the freehand drawing line and the new options. This time I'm not going to run through them all again. I'm basically going to copy a word to the clipboard and then show you some further options you can do. So to do that, I need to start with the word. Now I must alter this word now because after the next step, I can't come back and change this. As you can see when I move my cursor, there's a little A next to it. So I know I still have text selected. And this line at the end, I'm just going to use my arrow key, put it in the space between the capital B and the I. Then hold down the Alt key on my keyboard and use the arrow keys on the keyboard to just move it over. Then I release my finger off the Alt key and come along to the next space. Hold down the Alt key and use the arrow keys. So that is how I want my finish word to look. I'm just going to run through the steps that you might already use when making designs for your cutter and just show you you have to do it slightly different this time. So my word's typed and it's ready. Now if I copy that now because I want it to be on the clipboard for the next step, then I go to freehand drawing lines. Up here I've selected from clipboard. So what I've copied to the clipboard will be put along the path as I draw. As you can see, it doesn't. So that option is not suitable. What we usually do when designing files for the cutter is we go path, object to path to make that an object before any steps. But this doesn't work either. So I'll copy it and I'll show you what happens now. I'm basically only getting the first letter. So I'm just gonna go back to the stage when I, I can alter the text. And I know it's selected because I've got all these arrows and the dashed line around the box. This time I go path union. So it's copied to the clipboard now and I've still got clipboard selected here. So now when I draw a line, I've got the whole word. When you start trying to give this a go, if you're only getting the first letter, just go back and apply path union and then try again. As I showed in the previous video, you can select from mode, you've got smoothing, and from clipboard. So what I'm basically going to show this time is some of the options you've got when you copy a word to clipboard. We've typed our word and then applied path union and copied it to the clipboard. So now we can go ahead and pick a nice shape. Try all different types of things. I am moving this left to right each time because if I go from right to left, as you can see, it's the wrong direction. So when you get it fairly close to what you want, you don't have to keep trying until you get it perfect. You, you just select your word, then come to Node Edit. You can move your nodes around. You can even delete them. I can drag the red path. You know, I can come along and add extra nodes in. So I can do a lot more shaping until it looks how I want it to look. And as this is still a path, I can't cut this at the moment. That won't work. To make that into a file suitable for cutting, all I have to do is go path, object to path. Now when I double click on it, you can see I've got nodes. So that file will cut out. So let's just select everything and delete. And now I'm going to select the Spiro path. I don't have to select anything else. I can see from shape here that I'm, it's still from clipboard. So the word happy birthday is still in the clipboard. Now I can draw some paths. My Spiro path will automatically smooth this as I see once again, not a good option to go from right from left. When you get one you quite like, come along to node edit. You can start changing the nodes. 
Because this is automatically smoothing, and I'm only working in a small area, grabbing the path isn't going to make much difference. Because Spyro will automatically smooth the path out, so moving it this little bit on a small word is not going to make much difference. So you drag the nodes around. If you want more control, you can just add some more nodes in. But you watch as I drag this on the left, the right is changing as well. So this will keep automatically smoothing everything out. So if you want more control over the end result, you might like to select the Draw Bezier Line option. Just select them and delete them. Just like to show now that you're not limited to just one word. So I might type, and you have to make any alterations now. When the word's selected, come up to Path, Union, then I right click to copy. Just come to a clean patch of the screen. Now you can see I get the entire word. So if you're trying this out, you don't have to limit yourself to just one word. For anybody already using Inkscape 0.47, you might like to try these. For anybody who's waiting for the stable version, you can just watch the video and then when you get the stable version, you can go ahead and try. Just remember when you've made all alterations, that is a path and you can't cut that file out. You must go path, object to path. And as you can see, that is now a file suitable for cutting. I would go and reduce the amount of nodes. Don't forget to save your file. You can always visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com. Thank you.